When people visit the Thousand Islands, it's more than likely they'll stay in rentals like Airbnbs and VRBOs. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres tells us how one river community is looking to get a handle on its short-term rental market. Riverside Drive in Clayton was busy on Monday afternoon. Town Supervisor Tim Doney says for those who are visiting, most of them stay in short-term rentals. We don't have a lot of hotels like Watertown or the bigger cities, so they're dependent upon the short-term rentals for families to vacation here and come up and enjoy the river. And Because so many tourists stay in these rentals, Doney says the town needs to learn about where they are and who owns them. That is why the town created a short-term rental committee. It's made up of town officials, short-term rental owners, and residents. We want to know where these places are and what's involved, how many people are staying there and such as that. Tony says there are 191 short-term rentals in the town. The committee is gathering data that might be used to regulate short-term rentals so they are treated more like businesses than homes. The Thousand Islands Tourism Council director says it's a good move. I think what is happening in town of Clayton uh, is, is a positive thing. I think other communities are going to follow suit. Uh, my bet would be it's going to be another community on the St. Lawrence River or along the shore of Lake Ontario. There is currently short-term rental legislation sitting on Governor Hoko's desk, which includes creating a registry and taxation rules. In 2023, short-term rentals had a 12 to $13 million economic impact in Jefferson County. There are more than 600 countywide. Sandy Torres, 7 News.